Did I become mad? No, certainly not. Welcome back. Welcome everyone to week 5. Now I am in my office. So I have to speak slowly. Because you know like I cannot disturb my colleagues. So this week you are going to have a peek into my office space which will be definitely very short but uh, I mean later I'll make another video to show you how my office looks so now I am working on the paper for LARC that is the literature survey which I mentioned in last week you should check my last week's video to know more about it and how to start writing a literature survey so now you see around my office one of my colleagues sitting behind me so basically my entire week will be writing this paper getting some feedback from my supervisor and it goes around like this so this is a fast forward of what happens like coffee 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 or maybe tea and a banana to give you some energy some nutrients and in between you have to leave because you need to contact your supervisors or maybe get some advice from your peers and that's adjusting for the sun next we see some table tennis or ping pong here we generally play with singles or doubles it's after lunch and it's a really good exercise and refresh our minds before we again start working after lunch so this is another day and i'm roasting some paprika i have some coriander eggs baby mushroom prawns broccoli so this will be kind of a mixing all this vegetables and putting it together with the Indian basmati rice and to make the fried rice with these vegetables which is really healthy because of the prawns and everything so I always stress this fact like you should have a healthy body to have a healthy mind because health is well and that will power you to write your papers and now I'm going to make some tea Yes, on. Switch on the pan. Stick the milk. Stick out the milk. So it's a half woolly milk, just like half skimmed milk, as I can tell it because it's Dutch. This is my fridge. I just like, I don't want to see it. Anyways, that's fine. Let's put that on the gas. Stove. Stick out some tea. here we have two teas these are from Assam one of my friend brought it because Assam is really famous for the best variety of tea in India one is the leaf one and one is powder one this is the powder one this is the leaf one so if you mix both of these you get a nice blend of tea so you have to boil this milk and then add this two types of tea and then it boils and now I'm avoiding sugar because of Wait, so I need to reduce my sugar intake. So let's see that is.
So now we have both types of leaf and the powder in the milk. And now it is going to boil and we'll have the delicious cup of tea. And it will be accompanied with some toast. It will be a very light breakfast in the weekend. And then we'll have something like lentils and something for lunch. And so we'll see you throughout the week. I just now had a chat with my promoter about the article that I mentioned, the paper that I'm writing for a conference. Uh, it's like I think it's like in 8 or 9 days I have the deadline. So I had the first draft version uh, already ready, kind of. And then I got a Skype call to give some feedback, comments and suggestions of how can I improve it and how can I modify it. So basically it still is like the main gist of the talk is that uh, I need to improve a particular section of the paper and later modify the discussion and the conclusion section which is the most important part when you are submitting for a conference uh, because once a reader reads the abstract and then the introduction then your flow goes on in the body of the paper but when they reach the uh, discussion in the conclusion section they should relate with the introduction and it should give a new message like what is the added value of the work like what difference did you make with your approach may it be a prototype design or a literature survey in my case it's a literature survey on my research i'll leave some links below so that you can know what my research is about it's on multimodal learning analytics in collaborative learning can i become mad no certainly not uh, it's like crazy uh, i know why i look like this you might be thinking like why do i look like such strange looks it's because uh, for the whole week uh, i was just writing uh, stuff like writing papers and uh, uh, getting feedback from the promoters daily supervisors it happens like when you have like uh, I mean like two promoters and one daily supervisor you have three different opinions and uh, sometimes it's a bit too much but sometimes it helps you really a lot because they see things from different perspectives and uh, then you need to integrate them like someone is uh, after the theoretical framework or maybe someone uh, is more concerned about the terminology that you use in a paper uh, like how do you define certain terms and how are you consistent or not so that matters a lot like uh, how consistent you are and uh, how do you uh, strengthen your discussion and conclusion section so my main message is that uh, do listen to each of them even though you have multiple promoters or supervisors in, in some cases you have and you are really lucky in my opinion if you have that and uh, that will help you a lot uh, if you take into account their opinions and uh, I think that is the tip of the week like uh, uh, never uh, underestimate or uh, in other words, never uh, criticize even though a feedback might not be constructive but uh, it somehow helps you to see your uh, child or your article from different perspective and uh, that helps a lot to reshape it in such a way that it becomes really really strong when you submit for a conference because there also you will be assigned to like multiple reviewers there may be like three or four on an average and you will definitely come in come across different opinions sometimes two reviewers match each other while the other one might be from different background or might have some different opinion so it's a good thing if you have different perspectives to see through in the beginning so that when you submit for a conference or a journal then 
you won't get into issues uh, during that time so see you next week bye please please don't forget to subscribe and share